Today we'll be constructing the theanol chloride molecule. First off, let me explain these equations. This is the formal charge equations by, by using the valence electrons of each atom, subtracting by the non-bonding electrons plus the number of bonds, all in parentheses. This right here lets us know how many bonds the molecule should have. It's a good, it's a good way to save a lot of time. So first off, let's figure out how many electrons each atom contributes. So oxygen and sulfur are both found in group 16, so they each contribute six valence electrons. So chlorine is found in group seven. We have two of them, so it'll be plus 14, and that will equal 26. So we'll plug this 26 into this equation. The electron demand is how many, how many electrons each atom would like to have. So we should know that each atom likes to have an octet of electrons. So eight here, eight here, eight here, and eight here. So we have one, two, three, four atoms. Eight times four is 32. 32 minus 26 is six. Divide that by two, that equals three. All right. So we should have three total bonds. One, two, three. This molecule over here is the same thing as this. I'm just going to draw another resonance form. All right, so let's fill in their remaining valence electrons around this atom. Okay, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Checks out. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. Perfect. So let's now find the formal charges. So let's use this formula. Valence electrons of sulfur is 6 minus, I don't know why I did that. Let me erase that. All right, so six minus non-bonding, which is two plus number of bonds, one, two, three. Six minus five is positive one. So sulfur has a positive formal charge. Let's do oxygen. Oxygen also has six valence electrons, has one, two, three, four, five, six non-bonding, has a single bond, 6 minus 7 is negative 1, so the oxygen has a negative charge. Chlorine has 7 valence electrons, 2, 4, 6 non-bonding electrons, and a single bond. So that equals 0, so that's good. And let's look at this one. It also has 6 non-bonding and a single bond as well. So that equals 0. So perfect, that checks out. Now what if we would take these two electrons on top of this oxygen and drag them down here and make a double bond? Well, immediately you'd say, oh, sulfur doesn't have an octet. Well, yeah, that's true. But sulfur is found in the third period. So it can have an expanded octet. It has that d orbital that can contain 10 electrons. So if we move them down here, we would have two, four, that double bond, six, eight, 10. So that'd be okay with sulfur to have 10 valence electrons surrounding it. So I'm gonna draw that over here. Let me erase, oh, let me go back. Let me erase these because the formal charges are going to change. Okay, we're gonna take these two electrons and we're making a double bond. So we made a double bond and these stay the same. Fill in the remaining valence electrons. We can see that the chlorines did not change. So their formal charges are gonna stay zero. Okay, 
So let's check out the sulfur. Sulfur has six valence electrons minus non-bonding, which is two, plus the number of bonds, one, two, three, four, six minus six, and that equals zero. So let's look at the oxygen. Oxygen also has six valence electrons. So the non-bonding would be two, four, plus the number of bonds has a double bond, so six minus six, so six minus four plus two, which is six, six minus six is zero. Chlorines didn't change, so we can just say it's zero because we already did them on this uh, molecule. So this has no formal charge, and usually you would say zero formal charge, that's the best molecule. Not the case. An octet always overrules an expanded octet. So even though these have no formal charges, and but these do, and you would think that no formal charge is better, not in the case when your second, when your first molecule has an octet. So given an octet, that is going to be the major resonance contributor because these molecules right here are resonances of each other. However, when making the hybrid, this one contributes more. So you could do this. Double-sided arrow, close brackets, and that'd be your answer. But once again, this is the major resonance contributor because it has an octet on each atom. However, this can have an expanded octet on sulfur, still an octet is better 